We're going to go now to Jonah Kaplan, who is at DFL headquarters. Jonah, are you there? Hi guys. Uh, yes, we are here right here in um, uh, the DFL uh, watch party, and I've got uh, Keenan here, is uh, a former student of Governor Walls, traveling to St. Paul from St. Louis, Missouri. Uh, what's it like for you? First of all, what brought you now back to Minnesota? I think just the connection um, that I have with Mankato West, where I went to high school, and my you know classmates and then our teachers and coaches, guys like Tim and Gwen, that really made it a special time for us and just to uh, be able to support them in any way we can. Again, Keenan Robbins, originally from Mankato. You lived across the street, but you were a, a track student. Well, not a student, but you're a track athlete uh, for Governor Walls. And have you always kept in touch? What was it like for the last six months? Um, I mean, we lived across the street from each other. So, you know, if somebody's having like a gathering, I was there, he was there. You know, it's it's been kind of surreal to see somebody who you've seen like take out their trash a hundred times. We've passed each other on the bike path running a hundred times, and to see him, you know, at this uh, at this level is pretty surreal. That's the most appropriate word, I think. You live in Missouri, not a swing state, but certainly look a lot of uh, typical Republican voters in Missouri. What did you tell your new community there about Governor Walls? I just told him he's the real deal. You know, I told all, all the people in Missouri that I, uh, you know, I didn't push it, but if it came up, I said I know him. What you see is what you get. Um, he's totally genuine. He's a real deal. I think there's a lot of dissatisfaction with sort of your typical politician, your careerist, you know, self-interested politician. And Tim is not like that. Tim is somebody who's been working for other people his entire life. Once a teacher, always your teacher. What have you learned from him now as you've watched him on the campaign trail? I think just the ability to think outside of yourself and to sort of give yourself to a, a greater cause has been really, uh, really inspiring for me to see from him. And what do you think you'll take those lessons? How will you apply those lessons to the future? I think maybe put, put myself out there more and try to have bigger aspirations. You know, I think when he was a, you know, a, a junior geography teacher in Mankato, Minnesota, like who would have ever thought he was going to be a congressman? or a governor or a vice president. Um, those two th things don't seem to match up, but I think, you know, why not? I think it makes sense for somebody who's, you know, been a public servant his entire life, really, whether it's the National Guard, teaching, coaching. Um, I think it makes sense for somebody like that to be in public office as opposed to, again, a career politician, a lawyer, you know, that sort of person. So I think making that, making that jump and being a public servant at a higher level. If he's elected, how soon will you ask him for a visit to D.C.? I mean, I'll, I'll try to back off and let sort of uh, let him get settled a little bit, but maybe not 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 too, uh, not for a while. Maybe watch some football or play some football in the Rose Garden? Or go for a run, yeah, just take a spin around D.C. Okay, All right, Keenan, thank you very much. Uh, and you said a lot of them uh, here. And so you're seeing there's actually a special room for Governor Walz's family and friends. Uh, a, lot, a lot of energy going on here. It's fascinating to meet some of these folks. We'll send it back to you. All right. Thank you, Jonah.